Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Again, I'm sorry about the setup. I've had to change to this room because the noise in the main bedroom <clears throat> is bad because they're doing some sort of mural out on the street and oh my god the lighting isn't much better in here i'm sat it's a grey day and i'm sat by the window i've cropped up oh, on books and everything else i'm going to move you over here to see if that lighting is better i'm sorry about the backgrounds and stuff because this is the spare room and it's needing decorated but that's not why you're here so you're like shut it Julie you get it so today is an exciting video I am doing a collab a palette bingo collab with the beautiful lovely kind-hearted Darissa Rain and we're doing it with the so jaded palette I love it it's color pops one with Kathleen light it's got all these gorgeous gorgeous shades and we're going to pick five random numbers and create a look with it. Now, Riri is phenomenal at eye makeup. So, I've got my work cut out for me. So, I've got my random number generator here. And we're going to pick the numbers. So, press the generate button. The first number that's come up is number two. I'm just going to go... I don't know how to do it. Because, really, if we pick five numbers, it's just going to be along this row, isn't it? So, I'm going to go like this and shut my eyes and then just point to one. And then that will be my number two. Is that a good way to do it? No. Right. So, I'm going to go this way first. So, we're going to go one two so this color here so i'm going i've got a little liner here and i'm going to put a mark beside it so that's the first color the second color is number three so i'm going to go into this middle row here and pick and i'm going to go into this middle row here and pick a color so one two three so i've got Tiger eye, so that's two colours, and then we've got number one, and I'm going to go into the first row, and I'm going to go to this green one down here, and pick that one. So how many colours is it? One, two, three, and then we've got another number three. So we're going to go into this row, one, two, three, and we're going to go for that one there. I don't, maybe we should have picked more than five numbers, because I think this is being a bit, anyway. So we've got one, two, three, four. So we've got one more to pick, and the picked number one again. So I'm going to go into this row here, and we're going to go number one here. I don't know if you guys think that's the best way to do it or not, but we've got a mixture of colours because the first time when I tried to do it, it was all colours from the top row. So basically, we've got this shimmery one here. We've got this shimmery one here. We've got this one here, which has got fine bits of glitter in. And then we've got, so we've got two mattes. And one, two, three shimmers. So let's do that. Now, it's going to be a long video. I've used this Primark Priming Water just to prime my face, first of all. And I'm going to use some makeup tape here. I've got my mirror here because the So Jaded palette doesn't have a mirror. I've got PMT and I don't know why I'm choosing to do this today because he's all over the place but I just thought I would do it and my hair's a little bit I mean we're supposed to get thunder and lightning again tomorrow so I think that's why 
it's kind of grey out there. Okay, so let's see, I've got my brushes here. Let me get a fluffy brush and we are going, what was that I just threw on the tape? We are going to start with the colour. It's called Eura Gem and it's this one here and it's a matte shade and I'm just using a wet and wild fluffy brush and I'm going to just tap that in and we're going to pop it all over the lid. There's better lighting for me to see in here but I'm not so sure about you guys. <laughs> I love this palette, it is just so, so nice and I'm actually glad that I'm using it as well because I've been doing short moustache when I'm trying to rotate <clears throat> all the palettes and other makeup that I have and just getting them out so that I can get them used even if it's only like a couple of times in that week or what have you. And even though it's the back of two in the afternoon here in the UK, I literally just wanted to get on. They are such stunning colours and they blend so nicely. Like, look at that. It's gorgeous. So that's the first colour on. I'm going to put a tiny little bit more on this one. I always struggle to get the shapes of both my eyes to match, but there you go. Okay, so let me just pop that brush there and get a wee fluffy brush and we're just going to do that. It might have not made sense the way I picked the numbers and my brain can't function today to think about it or way, but this is off the cuff. I do not, excuse me, edit, so... Okay, so that's the first colour, You're a Gem. The next matte shade that we've been given is Garnet, which is this one here. So I think we will take that on a slightly smaller brush. And I'm just going to tap it onto the very tip of the brush because I don't want too much of it. And then I'm just going to deepen up what I've just done there I like doing collab videos with people but me being me because I'm so hard on myself and I know that my makeup skills aren't like amazing I do end up kind of being a bit like oh there's just going to be so much better than mine and what have you the joys of having an anxiety disorder as well, because you're always in self-doubt mode. And by the time you see this video, because it's going up on the 7th of September, um, it'll only be a few weeks until I start my makeup course. So hopefully my skills will develop and get better and I won't let the anxiety take over and ruin the course for me because I do enjoy doing it even if I don't actually become a makeup artist um you know what I mean it's just even to figure out how to do makeup better on myself would be just a nice little life skill you know I'm 37 this year and you know it's never too it's never too late to go and Layer. These colours are divine. <clears throat> and I have to say, apart from one of the colours, I haven't used any of these ones before, which is why I was like, right, it's also such a good idea to use this palette as well. Oops, let's open the brushes. Ideally, I'm hoping that this room I can get set up as my makeup room. But um, it's got like clothes horse for the washing and all different things in it now. So it's a bit of a, a, a 
gebeurig als ik dit zie. Maar het is al lovely. Looking fab so far. So I've lost a bit of that orangey colour. This is where I'm not the best at getting the colours and stuff because I feel like if I take them too high up my eye, they just look a mess. Like people always say to me, you know, I've got all that lid space, but I sometimes just think it looks like I've been wrestling with someone or what have you. I swear there's miracle grow on my eyebrows because I only plucked them like a day ago and they're now sprouting up my face. Okay, so we've used the two matte shades that I got to pick. Now we are left with these greeny ones and this one here. So I'm going to use this one. It's called Ametrine or something. It's got slight flakes of glitter through it, but I don't think they're going to come through when using them. Now I want a level this brush. So I'm just going to, it's such, oh, look at that, it's such a gorgeous shade, but I'm not sure that it's going to be seen, particularly with, look at all that kickback, with the little particles of glitter. So I'm just kind of taking it on that outer edge there and I'm just you know someone's dog's going cray cray this will come back and be like hey, where are you all dolled up to go and I'll be like nowhere just the living room <laughs> Such a pretty colour. I literally love this palette, I really do. And then I'm just using this brush just to blend that in. Now the next two colours are shimmery ones. So we've got Tiger Eye, which is like this sort of gold colour with a where's my towel? Is, greeny sort of undertone and then obviously we've got emerald which is the proper stunning green oh, I mean look at that so we're going to combine the two onto the lid so I need a little flat brush of some description -y. come on now right so I think I'll first of all go into tiger eye which is this kind of khaki undertoned green and I'm going to pat that into this inner section just into this inner half now I get texture on my lids because of the eczema that I've got so you'll have to forgive that because I can see it myself there with the texture. I wonder what colour Riri is going to get. I really love Dirissa, she's just so lovely. We did a box swap last year and you know she's always so supportive and we're always supporting each other. She watches my videos and I watch hers and I just really like her a lot actually. She's just such a great personality. So that's a lovely. Now we're going to swap over to the other side and go into that super gorgeous green. Like Riri is like me, she loves green and I am obsessed with green. Oh my god, that is stunning. I don't want to take away from this outer edge colour. So what I'm trying to do is just kind of Pat it on. <gasps> and this is like literally gorgeous. And I am not even putting any, you know, fix plus or any spray or anything on. 
this is just literally straight out of habit. Oh, so pretty! Oh my god, that is so stunning, isn't it? Oh my god! Right, so let me just. I want to just use my finger to kind of blend it in because I, I feel if I get the brush. Let me see. That is possibly going to take away the colour. I just need a little bit more just to intensify it on this side just because it's slightly more popping. Right, I'm going to leave it like that just now. So that's me used all the colours that we picked. I'm going to take this tape off. I was going to go off camera. Oh. <laughs> tape doesn't work. Well. My hair gets so stag at the top, but it looks nice at the bottom. I was going to, um, what do you call it, do all this, my makeup off camera because it's going to take so long. But I'm just going to do it with you because I just want it. So I used the Primark Priming Water and then I'm just using the stuff that I've got in here from my shop, my stash. So I'm going to use the Charlotte Tilbury Wonder Glow because everybody wants a glow, don't they? And I'm just going to pop this on my face all over for that lovely glow. Do I have a... Oh, I nearly panicked there that I didn't have a foundation with me. Because this is the thing, all my makeup I now is through in the bedroom. And then my skincare and stuff's in here. Okay, so I'm going to use the Urban Decay Naked Peach um, colour corrector. Because you get darkness galore. And a bit around my nose in there because I get eczema. Sponge on you. I'm actually really impressed with those with the eye makeup, and I love the colours. Thank you so much, Riri, for taking the time to do this with me as well. Like I really appreciate. There's a couple. I mean, I'm not digging anyone out as they see in ASICs but there's a couple of people that I have asked if they want to collab and they're like mm, I'm so busy and, and I get that people are busy or they're like oh I've got so many collabs on just now but no matter whether Riri's busy or no or got loads she always makes time for you and I appreciate that because you know I think probably the last collab I did was with the lovely Jane Jackson and Glamburger and we did the 10 minute makeup challenge. So I'm using my Chanel Le Beige cushion foundation in number 30. I love this stuff. I know Chanel is expensive but we all need a little bit of luxury in our lives. I like the way it is. It's lightweight, so it's not a heavy foundation, it's quite sheer. So if you're wanting coverage, then it isn't for you. And I just like the way it applies. I've got the fluid as well as this cushion one. But it is a lovely boy. I mean, look how easy that was. Done and dusted. Okay, next up we have got Fenty Cream Bronzer in Butter Biscuit. I love cream bon bronzers and I really love this Fenty one. It's so good. I think cream bronzers and blush and cream highlights are like my jam this year anyway. Because, I don't know, they just look so much nicer, I think, on the skin than the powders, but each to their own. Getting pins and needles in my feet. Okay, next up, where is the blusher? Hello? Are you kidding? Oh, it's so small. This is the NARS Orgasm. And I'm just using this as blush and highlight in one because it's super, like 
shiny. I mean, hello. Plus, I'm not going anywhere. I'm just literally doing this for this video. Okay, now, eyeliner. I am going to use this eyeliner from Colourpop and it's called DTL8 and it is like a deep sort of navy blue which I think will go absolutely dandy with this look so I'm just going to put that into the waterline this video is kind of a little end of pure shaking away that's that damn anxiety I hate having anxiety I really do Depression was actually so much easier for me than anxiety. This takes over everything I do. Hate it so much. So a bit of that blue, and then I'm using the Rimmel Scandalized Volume On Demand mascara. This is just a black mascara. Sorry, I'm not getting everywhere. It's a nice mascara, but it's kind of clumpy. I'm actually in love with this eye look. I've got so many makeup palettes, like eye palettes, right? That I love and should use and everything. But see, because I love this so jaded, like I actually love it. I feel like getting a backup of it in case it ever sells out. <laughs> Shouldn't I just say that? Don't worry, I haven't done that, but. Jen Jackson asked me if I would do a video, like a full face of my favourite makeup and I think this palette is going to definitely be one of them. Now I'm trying to think if there's any, I'm not going to bother doing my eyebrows because they're a riot. I'll wait until that settles before I do concealer. So for lips, that's not a lip liner Julie, I'm going to use Charlotte Tilbury's Pillow Talk Liner. I'm going to overdraw it a wee bit. And then I'm going to use Colourpop's What's Your Sign Lipstick. I don't think I need to conceal in my eyes. I'm looking all right. And then over the top of that, I'm going to use Iconic London Lip Plumping Gloss in Love Struck. And this is like such a lovely gloss. And it really does plump up your lips, but not in a sore sort of way. And then to finish off, I'm going to use my Iconic Set, Prep and Glow Water Mist, which has probably transferred my mascara a little bit. And I am done. So this is the finished eye look using all five colours from the Bingo collab with Radiate. So I hope you guys enjoyed this. Please do hit the like button, subscribe to my channel, click the bell button. I will leave Radiate's channel linked below. Please go over and subscribe to both me and her channels. It means a lot to both of us and tell her that I sent you and thanks so much and thank you to Radiate. Bye.